Hey everybody, so just as I was reporting that the Saints were behind the Dolphins 10-3 to and that it was a close contest, but it looked like the Dolphins might break it open on the drive that was occurring while I was making the vlog, well, as I was uploading the vlog, guess what happened? The Dolphins scored. That's right, Tua Tagovailoa threw to Jay Waddle for a touchdown. It was a one-yard pass, and basically... Uh, I should say is a one yard pass, four yard after the catch, yak, yards after the catch, according to the NFL website, uh, touchdown pass. And now the Dolphins are ahead 17 to three with five minutes and 10 seconds remaining in the third quarter. If you're wondering how that changes the statistical look of this contest, let me tell you right now, um, it is quite clear that from a team standpoint, Miami is way ahead of New Orleans, 215 total yards to just 85 from New Orleans. They haven't, in fairness to the Saints, gotten the ball back yet to open the third quarter. On the other hand, the Dolphins opened the third quarter, drove down, and scored. In fact, for it was a nine-play, 84-yard drive uh, with four minutes and 30 seconds elapsed time. Now... Uh, statistically, Tua Tagovailoa is 17 completions of 22 attempts for 181 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Uh, Duke Johnson, seven for 28 yards uh, and average of four yards a carry. Philip Lindsay's 10 carries for 26 yards and average of 2.6 yards. Miles Gaskin, two for five yards and average of 2.5 yards. Receiving Waddle leads. All, that would be Jalen Waddle, uh, nine catches for 87 yards. Um, and Mac Hollins is one for 40. Uh, he leads a number of Dolphins players that have one catch. Uh, for the Saints, we have Ian Book. He's seven of 11 for 70 yards, which overall, he hasn't done a bad job. He does have the pick six, however, but he showed in command of the offense in terms of just running it. Now, when he gets to the point of attack, it's a different story. But, hey, here comes the third quarter, right? Alvin Kamara's eight rushes for just 19 yards, a 2.4-yard average. That's the other surprisingly disappointing stat here. But that is pointing to the kind of scheme that the Saints have chosen to go to, which I'll talk about another time. Uh, Mark Egram, four for 17, 4.3-yard average. I think the Saints would do well to call more quick hitting runs and it really is surprising to me that NFL teams today don't use the brown and blue formations of the 70s and the 80s which bring the running backs closer to the line of scrimmage which really compensate for the fact that linebackers today are paying off the line of scrimmage as much as four and five yards I use it in a heartbeat at any rate that's the re the uh, update it's Dolphin 17 third quarter and the Saints three. Uh, the Saints are driving. They are first and 10 uh, after um, after a 10-yard uh, run um, and by Alvin Kamara to open their drive. So the Saints are smartly moving down the field. It would seem, if you can tell as much by one play, uh, it's five minutes and 10 seconds left in the third quarter. Subscribe to Zenny62 and bookmark oaklandnewsnow.com.